share this video. Oh, you look at the white seat, right? I don't go to your live. I don't go on your page. I don't call your phone. I don't email you. I don't even check in. I don't check in with you. Because I already know you fixed. I already know you a cosmic mutated energy. I already understand that you are here to serve our karma. You are here to teach others like myself of what we shouldn't be doing, of why not to do those things, of how we could end up, of how of how exactly we look like when we do the low vibration of things that we've been ascended from in terms of our level of vibration mentally. Fuck is you talking about? That's why you're here. I'm not I'm not doing this because I think I'm better than you. I'm doing this because it, it, it's going to keep me sane while on my journey. I have to talk. I have to heal. I have to communicate through it. Because what you do, you stay stuck. You're fixed. So you just keep repeating beh behaviors, patterns of your mind. You just It's just a paradigm. You're stuck in that shit. You're locked. So then you come to criticize me. I ain't do nothing to you. Judge not that ye shall be judged. The same judgment you cast on me is the same judgment that's going to be casted upon you. All you're going to get from me is a vibration of love. It's a frequency of nature. That's it. I don't mean for it to convict you. You can't come in my presence because I don't have a fucking Coca-Cola can in arm's reach. I don't have a Snickers bar. I don't have a sugar-free gum. You think you need these things. You think these things are for comfort. It's poison. It's plutonium. You don't need this shit. I've healed from that paradigm of mine. From that thinking that, that I thought those things were normal as well. Because it's all a feeling. So when you come in my presence and those things are not in arm's reach, you're going to use that to speak through. You're going to use that to escape from what you're really running from. It's deeper than what you're saying. It's deeper than what you're doing. You're sending me this information. You're not doing that to uplift me. You're not doing that to help me. You're sending me an article to put fear. I just made a, a post about fear. Go to Natural TV on YouTube. The link is definitely in my bio. Go to my Facebook. I just made a book. I mean, excuse me. I just made... Well, it is a book. It's an e-book. I just made a post about fear, which is false evidence appearing real. You live from there. So you speak to me from fear. You can't go into nature. You can't do that. You have a child. Your wife is young. You trying to teach me from a place that it's not open to learn. You can't teach that way. You have to be open to learn to then teach. The teacher is the greatest student. So how are you going to teach me? You're convicted by her because in her, in your world, her age is young. In your world, she's inexperienced. In your world, she can't possibly have tapped into something in terms of higher science, higher dimensions of thoughts. She couldn't possibly have tapped into something that you may have missed. Impossible. You don't, you don't think that's real. You don't think that's possible. Because you look at her from that paradigm, from that locked state of mind from that paradigm of thought you look at her from that fixed space you still think oh she's a kid she can't how could she possibly t teach me or t when we tell you words are energy words cast spells that's why we don't speak those words well, it's not to tell you to shut up. It's not to tell you to not speak in our presence. It's to tell you that we are very sensitive to words. We understand how we use words in our reality. We use them to cast spells. And the spells that you are casting while in our presence in our reality, we won't accept. So we cast those spells away. It is not for you to be offended by it. It is nothing personal. In fact, it is so personal that that's why I got away from you. Not because I don't love you, because I love you so much that I am you, that I had to get away from you. Because I can't, if I'm not helping you, I'm hurting you. If I'm not building, then I'm destroying. ¿Tú me entiendes? ¿Cómo yo te voy a ayudar a ti si yo no me puedo ayudar a mí? That's why I'm reaching out to you through the internet. Hopefully somebody can share this video with you. And it'll get to you this way. Or you can scroll down your timeline and see that I was alive and open it and mwah, let me give you a cosmic kiss. A cosmic message, a cosmic hug with some cosmic love. Because all I intend to do is to feed you truth. And through truth, you should uplift yourself. You should feel motivated to be like, you know what? The indigenous ways of my ancestors were godly. 
They revered the woman. They revered the man, the real man, a man who is in his indigenous state and who is truly sovereign. Fuck is you talking about? That is what I'm trying to give you. I'm only trying to uplift you and build you up. I'm not pussy worshiping. I went to you with the teachings of Dr. Malakazi York and the Nuwapians because they talked about parthenogenesis. I wanted to teach you how the woman is God, how she could have possibly been in a state so naturally vibrating so high, so in tune with the frequency of the earth, of Gaia, of Netter, that she was able to fertilize her own egg, secrete a uh, hormone that could fertilize her own egg and she could be populating the earth on her own. See, that was just a, a thought. And that was just an aspect of what I was studying and what I wanted to bring to your attention. But these things didn't interest you. So clearly that began to show me that I don't need people like you in my reality. I need people like I need people like me in my reality. People who that interest. People who, even if it's to debunk that information, it interests them enough to do the research to find out whether it's true or false. Not to call me out of my name. Not to be condescending. Not to tell me, oh, este tipo está loco. Almost like... I can't possibly be on to something. And the only thing I am on to is nature. I am on to the fact that we belong closer to what we are. And we are the sun. Our cells are pieces of the sun. Our miniature suns. You dig? We are the earth in human form. We are gods. Ye are gods. So this is what I'm yelling out to you, 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 to everyone. Share this video. Right? And that happens to convict you to the point where... You can't just leave me alone. You have to send me negativity. But you see me, we, we have ascended. We've traveled the Kundalini. We understand what to do with that negative vibration that you send our way. We know how to alchemize that energy. We know how to become wizards. We know how to use our wizardry and send that energy out into the universe in a very positive way and receive nothing but positivity from it and karma from it in a good way. What you're doing is you're casting out demons and you're hurtling them out but they're only coming back to you boomerang style and falling right back on your lap. The energy you put out is the energy that you will receive whether it's good or bad. The energy that you put out is the energy that you will receive whether good or bad. Period. Get that tattooed on your forehead. Because I know you think you're helping me. You're not. You're not even hurting me because I won't allow you to. I won't allow you to. I just want to be tapped in. That's it. That's it. Let me feel the sun. Let me walk on earth. Let me free myself and my family. Let my life be completely consumed with the thought of that and that only. Let me shun you away like the sun does to anything impure when you come to my space with negativity. Let me send you on your way. For we do not have room for that. You cannot rent space in my reality with negativity i've been i've been that nigga you don't want to be around i've been that nigga that you need everyone to stay the fuck away from i've that's been me before i've been that nigga that you don't even want to leave in your crib you don't want to leave around money you can't trust around your pistol around your female that's been me before but now check this this is how the reality works right the fact that that's been you before and you want to change and transcend and level up makes it that much more harder for the people who you vibrated with then. It's harder for them than it is for you. You growing because you want to, you aspire to do great. You aspire to be better. You growing. I see your glow. Ray Charles can see your glow, right? But now they created this box for you. And when you're too big to fit in that box, it crushes their whole world. Because they also created a box for themselves. And they also don't fit inside of the box that they've created for themselves. But they, what they do is they constantly squeeze themselves into that box. They force fit themselves into that box on a daily basis. You understand what I'm saying to you? They do this shit on a daily. So when you like, yo, fuck that. I'm not, that's your box. You can stick that little box up. Your, Man, I don't want that shit. No. No. That's who I used to be. That's not who I am no more. I've, I've, I've became better. No, I'm healing myself. I went, on a, I went on a path. I went on a journey into nature. I ran naked in the jungles. I felt that we gods. Ye are gods and I felt it before. I'm not just talking it. I've been out there and I've, I've vibrated to my higher self. I've been in the jungles. I've, 
elevated to the point where I've astral projected and it was like I caught sleep paralysis trying to get back on my body. I understand that we are more than what we have taught that we were. I felt it before. I'm here to wake your ass up. So now when someone is not interested in that, when someone doesn't vibrate on that frequency, when they're not into spirituality the way you are, when they're not in, on the journey of awakening, it is not your job to try to bring them along with you. It is your job to just gracefully bow out and let them go, which is what I did. But guess what? They're going to come back around, bro. And some of them, they're not going to convert because they're fixed energies. They're locked in their paradigm of thoughts. They're mutated cosmic energies, just like they're mutated physical energies they're mutated cosmic energies you understand what i'm saying to you but it's all about the intent and the heart because there are cosmic mutated individuals who have the purest of intent who vibrate on the highest of frequencies and why is that why is it that somebody who can be mutated physically biologically could still vibrate on a higher uh level of thought than someone who is superior biologically because it is about the energy it is about the intent there are good white people, there are bad black people. No matter how you slice it and dice it. I'm not for you, that's why your energy repels me. You haven't learned your lesson. Leave me alone. You have to unsubscribe from me and leave me alone. You don't wanna go back to nature. You don't wanna live indigenously. You don't wanna begin to grow your own food. That's not what you, you're not, you wanna be a part of powering the system. You wanna be comfortable under your oppressor. You wish to be a slave and that's okay for you. I'm the total opposite. I'm the I'm that field nigga. I'm the undomesticated wild nigga. I'm that nigga. I'm the wild man that you look at and you tell me my wife is too young. She's not fit. You guys can't go into the jungle this way and blah say blah blah blah. That's why. I'm. That's why I'm. in your world it doesn't make sense. In my world, your world makes zero sense. They're cutting grass. When there is no need for the grass to be cut, it is already perfect. What are you cutting the grass for? And you see, nature, you, I'm, you treated me like the grass. You're starting to cut me, you cut me, you cut me, you cut me. The more you cut the grass, what happens? The, the grass grows its own defense mechanism. It starts becoming rougher and tougher and sharper. Eventually, you won't even be able to walk on that grass. And then your ass gonna be grass. You understand what I'm telling you? You have to connect to the people who vibrate on the same frequency of thought that you do. If not, energy will repel. If not, energy will repel. And that's what's happening in your reality. Don't expect them to understand you. It's not your job to make them understand you. It is your job to be you, to love you, and to do it as wonderfully as you can. Be the most beautiful version of yourself as you can be. And give yourself the best of all things. People, places, things. All of the things that you can experience, do it with the highest regard for yourself. And your reality will begin to show you that as well. You can't run from your lessons, you can't run from your karma. So people gonna come into your life only to show you how much you've grown or how much you haven't grown or how much growth there is to be done. Because at the end of the day, they're really yourself. Some of them are your sleep self. Some of them are your woke self. Some of them are you exactly if you don't make that one decision that you know you should be making. Things of that nature. So the universe has a sense of humor. The universe is not cruel. The universe doesn't know good or bad. The universe puts all that energy in front of you. It shows you the patterns. It shows you the mind of people. It shows you how much you've grown through the actions of another. Only to see if you will be discouraged. It's all a test. It's a test. And life is a very cruel teacher because it gives you the exam first and then the lesson after, you see? So obviously you're gonna fail more than you're gonna succeed, but it's about how much you learn during the times of you failing. It's about how much you really gain during the times of you failing, you see? Now let me ask you a question. And this is why you can never fuck with us. This is why the chosen are here. We are the family who always gives reverence to another grand rising. We worship the sun. We worship each other. Peace, God. Peace, God. My woman is a goddess, not a woman, for there are many women. I don't want a woman. I want a God because I am a God. You see, here's why you can never fuck with me. Ever since you can remember, right? As far back as you can think now. 
fuck with me. I'm going to leave you with this one thought. Share this video. As far back as you can remember, right? You always wanted to just take it easy, kind of like, right? Like, just think, like, right? Like, look, 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 look. Think. Think back, right? When you was a kid, like, the most fun you've ever had. You kind of always wanted to just chill and do you, right? Do your thing. Like, be left the fuck alone. Like, feel free. You know, not, not be told what to do. Like, I see that in my daughter every time. Like, she has... Babe, your diaper got to be changed, right? She'll fight with you to change her diaper. But then once she's changed and she's comfortable, she'll be like, oh, okay, I get it now. But as you're changing her diaper, she's like, what, the, what are you doing? You know? So, you've always wanted to just relax and chill, right? So, what this is, is a game. Push start. This is a game. You have entered the game now, right? The game... It's the God game. And who is God? You. The game is to get you to forget that you are God. The game is to get you to disconnect from the connection that you already have to God. You don't have to reconnect to God. You don't have to connect to nature. You are nature. You have to connect to you, motherfucker. You could ground yourself by eating up. We ground every day. I ground with Gaia. I, I have the earth in human form. We are the earth in human form. You can ground by eating of the earth you don't have to touch the earth i have to touch the earth because that's in my mind that's who i am now all of your experiences have either been taking you away from the fact that you're god or have been bringing you closer to the fact that you're god every time you speak to that source every time you speak to that energy deep within that is you that is answering you that is you that is hearing you that is you that is responding to your prayers that is you that is manifesting your reality for you so Every time you have been put into a systematic way of thought, every time you have been put into some type of subjugation as a slave, ever since you were a kid, your soul felt it. Your soul wanted, your soul wanted to break free. Your soul wanted to cry out. Your soul wanted to lash out, right? And that is the feeling that you have deep within. The feeling of you understanding that there is more out there. That is the feeling, that is that inner child inside of you just crying out, that just wants to be free, that doesn't want to be told what to do, that doesn't want, want to be subjugated to a system of servitude only for their freedom. Now how, now how do you go about understanding these things and implement them, implementing them into your life to this day, for in this day and now in real time, you realize that, fuck, I always wanted to just have fun, relax, be chill, and peace, be still. And that hasn't changed, and that will never change. So what you have to do is you have to dedicate your life. You have to dedicate your energy, your very essence. Every level of thought that you have has to be on the vibration that is aligning with the things that you want to see in your reality. If not, it is a waste of energy, right? So the reason I opened up this live is to tell you that you're wasting your energy when you come into my reality because I already know that that energy is going to repel because you don't vibrate where I vibrate. Patillo es un loco. Tú me entiendes, o quédate para allá, no me haga caso. Porque cuando tú me haces caso, tú lo que estás haciendo es te estás... You're... Tú te estás haciendo la culpable tú misma. And this is not about victimizing anyone. I'm not doing this because I think I'm better than you. I'm doing this because I know how great you are. It's not about being... Yo nunca tenía ese complejo. I never thought I was better than nobody. I always felt like I'm that nigga and can't nobody touch me. Like, you feel me? And that's not... I don't have to be better than anyone. I just have to be better than I was. I'm competing with me, nigga. This is a God game. So you're going to always feel like, yo, all I want to do is chill and be left alone and relax. Why? Because deep down inside of you, you are the sun. That electrical cell that it is charged by the sun, all it wants to do is be left alone and be God. All you want to do is enjoy life. All you want to do is experience peace within you and peace around you. That is the purpose of life. And the way you find your purpose in life is you ask yourself, what would you do for free? And you do that shit. And that is, you're in your purpose. You would automatically align because success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. That's it. You're successful already. You are God. So now, you're going to always want to just chill and relax. So you have to build a life that is a vacation, not one you have to take a vacation from. So once I realize these things, right, I'm such a loving soul, I'm such a divine being, my government name 
in that system is angel. It's just a reminder of what my purpose is. An angel, a messenger of God. God being the sun, God being nature. Simple. I could t- my, my child could understand this. It is about, once I understood that, I wanted to share that with you. You couldn't vibrate with that. You couldn't digest that. Energetically, that's not for you, right? So I understood that. So I had to remove myself. But I'm not removing myself to be like, nah, 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 nah. Because this shit ain't no fun and games either, nigga. Niggas is out here trotiando. Niggas is out here luchando, my nigga. Like, this shit ain't a game. This is my life. This ain't an entertainment thing for you. This ain't you seeing me, uh, uh crash and burn because i don't even look at life like that everything is a lesson learned everything is a everything is a badge of honor to be experienced because listen with all lessons come wisdom from it and that's how i look at life so i'm not asking you to come here just like i didn't ask you to leave but i didn't ask you to come here you see what i'm saying so energy is going to repel every time you do that in your reality it doesn't matter it's not with me it's with everywhere you go Nothing is going to be like you want it to be but you. You have to be what you want it to be. Whatever you want to see official tissue with like a ref with a whistle, be that. Don't. I'm not in the tropics. You feel me? I'm I'm in the States. I'm in the States for the moment. I will be migrating soon. But I had to come back towards this way to get my uh, seeds credentials right. I wonder how to be able to move throughout time and space without any issues. Show your... Show your papers on some Nazi Germany shit and keep it moving. I want it that simple. I don't want to have to be going into these uh, institutions with her and having to trade resources with them. Not at all. I want to free us. We free. That's why we here. We in the belly of the beast now trying to gather that so we can go. You heard me? And also I'm taking my time because I've, I have I jumped out prematurely before and I got my ass whooped by life. And I loved it because I've gained wisdom from it like I said. But I'm here to grow. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm out here trying to, you know, share my life and my journal and trying to grow and learn and teach myself as I do it. And I got people who vibrate towards me, even if it's just energetically, even if it's just digitally over this Internet. But they send me articles and shit like that from their fear. And let me tell you something. It don't matter what you wish upon me. Anything you put out comes back to you. It don't matter if it's good or bad. Everything you put out comes back to you. It don't matter if it's good or bad. So why not wish people the best? Because that's what's going to come back to you the best. So do your best. Focus on you. Don't worry about how you and I think differently. Focus on how you and I think the same. You don't have to quit eating meat. Fine. That's not for you. That's for me to do. I need to not eat meat because in my mind, that meat ain't for me. You see? Right? But you still have to be righteous you still have to do right by others and yourself you still have to treat people the way you want to be treated it don't matter what your diet is you still have to realize that you are a slave in a system that you didn't choose to be a slave as a part of and what if your life is not dedicated into freeing yourself from that system then what is your life okay that's okay finally i got down to the point So if your life is not dedicated to completely seeing how you can manifest yourself out of that system, then you and I have nothing in common. And that's it. And that is why the energy repels. Now, if you do think on the level of vibration that I think, then your life is completely consumed with how the fuck we're going to get up out of this and and make it. How is it going to look when it's self-sustainable? Then we vibrate on the same frequency. That's why when I tell you my family's on the Internet, you get offended. And it's because... They think more like me than you do. So obviously they're my family. It's simple. So don't put your fear on me. You are fixed. You are a paradigm that is locked. Energetically, astrologically, there's no hope for you in terms of you wanting to grow and change. That is one of your strengths and weaknesses. You don't change. You don't want to evolve. You're going to stay the same. But in staying the same, be great. Don't judge me, because I'm not even where I need to be. I still have work to do. So you judging me, all you're doing is motivating me. Judge yourself. Show yourself that, damn, there's more growth to be done wherever you at. Get greater later. Get better. Get better. But don't worry about us. Unless you're doing what we're doing, then we're irrelevant to each other. I've never seen the birds. I've never seen in my life. I've never seen the birds come out the sky, right? 
and just chill on the ground and say, we ain't flying no more. And ask the land animals to now inhabit the sky. I've never seen the birds mind business of anything other than birds. And that's how we should be. We should mind our own business and do our thing. And we should love each other from a true space, from a space of a pure intent, not with any ulterior motives. Like, yo, I, right, I'm gonna look out for you because I need you to do this, this, and this for me because it benefits you. So no, you're not really looking out for me. You're just trying to secure some shit for yourself and that's selfish and we don't live from that space. I don't understand that. I don't know how to eat while you hungry. All I know how to do is break bread and give you half of what I'm having. Even if none of us is full, we both ate. I and I, brethren, I could prove to you that you God. And you offended when I tell you that you God. You offended when I say that I'm God. You made up of atoms. Those atoms make up cells. Those cells make up tissues. Those tissues make up organs. Those organs make up organisms. You are an organism. You are the whole fucking orchestra, God. You are it and it is you. For example, you ever wanted something so bad and then you got it? That was because you willed it into your reality. That was because you moved energy. You forced and forged the universal forces to conspire to help you. Now, if you use that energy for good or bad, that's on you. We only using it for the power of knowledge itself. We only using it for the true divine purpose of this world to try to help free and spread awareness and awaken the rest of the divine beings that are across the globe and shout out to all the gods in the building i see everybody on their journey some of us in the tropics some of us out the tropics it don't matter where you at because i know where you at right here and you in my heart you in my mind you in my soul because we are the same soul we just broken up and we all hear each other and see each other when we reach out to each other but don't let nobody put no fear in your reality just because you graduated from who you used to be they still who they used to be no evolution no growth they the same person they was a whole year ago and then they got the, the nerve to judge you and but but what's sad is that you let that affect you fuck that keep it moving k-i-m keep it moving share this video tell yourself tell yourself your greatness if nobody else tells you because people are going to test you there are they are going to play as that temptation Get that fat ass, man. Damn, she look good. Damn, yo, but I got a wife and kid, man. Why she want me, man? Man. And then you got that devil in you. Like, nigga, you know you want to spank that. Then you got to stay focused, stay righteous, man. She not even vegan, bro. She not even vibrating on my frequency, bro. That's a sex demon, bro. That shit going to put some negative energy on you, bro. Think about it. Come on. Like, how high have you elevated to? Are you still letting the flesh govern you? Like, come on. Come on. See, now, I would never turn away God's child because there's always hope. It's never too late to change. So if you ask me to come into my reality, I would never shun you away. Even though I can see it from afar, that shit going to repel. But this letter is for you. So share this video. Hopefully this can help somebody. And if it don't, it helped me. So peace to all the gods and the goddesses. And always give reverence to another grand rising. And make sure you worship each other in that sun. For if that sun chose to take a day off this whole shit is over you heard if you haven't heard these words today i love you and you have no choice yo you are the chosen peace